Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Melt with Nat and Jack. I'm Natalie, if it's your first time here, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much, welcome back. So I'm filming in my family room because after Charity and I did our live, there was so much feedback of everybody saying it's brighter in here, um, It everything, they liked it better with me sitting in here. So I'm still trying to work it out of my angles. And right now I'm in the midst of putting my fall winter warmers away and pulling out um, spring summer and deciding where I'm putting things. And I have so many warmers right now and I want that lighthouse that's coming out April 1st and I'm getting that one. So I'm like, where am I putting that? I have so many warmers. So um, I'm sitting in here today. I needed to get my empties done because it's been like two weeks and I have a lot of empties. Tomorrow is March 31st. It's the last day of the melting challenge of Patricia Gates. So I can't film tomorrow because I have my I have my granddaughter who's been sick with strep throat. I had her all day today and she's coming back tomorrow morning to spend the day here. So I just didn't know if I'd be able to film or not. And I just got a lot going on right now. Um, so I wanted to catch up a little bit with you guys and say hello. And thank you guys for all the support with our live for Charity and I. We both really appreciate it. I love hearing everybody's feedback. The comments just make my day. And um, I know somebody commented to me. I saw I didn't even look yet. Congratulations on 800 subscribers. So thank you so much, everybody. When I first started my channel, I would my daughter would be like, Mom, you got 30 subscribers. Mom, when you hit 100, Hector and I are going to take you out to dinner to celebrate. I never even look at that. If I have five subscribers or I have 100 subscribers, it didn't matter to me. I did this to um, do something that I love. And it, along the path, I've met some friends that I feel like I know my whole life. And I only know, well, I know almost two years. My channel will be two years in October. But I've been following them before I even started my channel as a subscriber. And... Um, so yeah, it's been a fun ride and thank you guys. Thank you everybody so much for all the support. I love you guys and that's why I'm here today to share my empties. I don't even know where to begin. I'm going to begin with my Sensi that isn't included in the melting challenge because the melting challenge I have rubber banded um, by the day. So my Scentsy is also mixed in with that. So I'm going to start with just my Scentsy that isn't in my melting challenge. Um, that's just the way I've been doing it. I hope that's okay. Um, okay. So let me get started first with non wax with Scentsy. So I put a pink sugar berry mint scent pack in my linen closet and I took out a lavender cotton so pink sugar berry mint is in there now lavender cotton came out and it was good the butter pecan is my favorite i love when i lay my head on the pillow at night and i smell that butter pecan it just like helps relax me i don't know i love it and here is a vanilla bean no yes vanilla bean buttercream i took out and I put a satin sheets in. So I always put one scent sack on the bottom shelf where all my pillowcases and sheets are. And then on the shelf that has the towels and washcloths, I put another one. So that's that was satin sheets is in there now. And I took vanilla bean buttercream. So two scent sacks went in there. Then in the game room, I replaced Mystery Man pods. So that's the Mystery Man pods in my plug-in. And right now I have Starburst Sky. That was part of our Easter collection. That's in my plug-in now, the pods. And I love it. I love Mystery Man too. Love it in the car bars. I sell a lot of car bars. And it's a popular one. Then um, I did a scent circle and I replaced it in my kitchen with the same. So I have to write myself notes, as you see, because I won't remember all this. So sea salt and avocado, I took one out and then I put it right back in again. Even now, you could still smell it. I should really put it by the cat litter box. 
because I could still smell it. Um, then out of the guest bathroom, I put in a prickly pear and agave in the garbage and I replaced it. I pulled out, oh, good thing I have my flashlight, butter pecan of a scent circle. So right now I have prickly pear and agave in that guest bathroom and I took butter pecan out. See, I even wrote guest bathroom. Um, okay, in my car, I have cashmere and corduroy right now. I put in there last week and I took out, I think this is vanilla bean buttercream. Yeah, I took out vanilla bean buttercream from my car and I have cashmere and corduroy in there. These last a good, like, if you get two weeks out of them, they're worth it. My car actually needs to get cleaned right now, inside and out. On my list of things to do, but I don't want to do it till I'm going to get my nails done because I don't want to clean my car because I go deep, heavy in under the seats. I'm like, I always like to plan chores, like weeding outside and all that for the week I'm going to get my nails done. Um, and then a winter berry apple tea, cran apple, cranberry apple and honey. So I did this one day in the bedrooms. It must have been on one of our prompts. I can't remember. I must have just tossed it in there. Maybe it was in our cocktail day. I don't remember. But winter berry. I do have some floating around that had nothing to do with the prompts. And that's it for just Scentsy. So Scentsy, my Scentsy basket. But there is more Scentsy involved in Patricia's um, melting challenge. Okay, so now I'm going to start with um, wallflowers. So Midnight Blue Citrus is in one of my bathrooms now, I replaced. And Rain Kiss Petals is in another bathroom, two bathrooms. And they're both excellent. But then um, Strawberry Pound Cake. That I, this I burned and then I put under the lamp that's right there. And that lamp, can you see it right there? That is from my friend Cindy. I had one in my guest room. She sent me one. So I um, kept hers out here and the one in the guest room in there. So that is from Cindy. And strawberry pound cake. Well, I mean, what do we say? Everybody loves strawberry pound cake. Um, this is from a company called Oh Soy. And I found them at a craft show down here. And I got their sunflowers. And I loved it so much they're right in monmouth county but they don't have a store you got to call them and order and then they meet you there or something it's a whole thing last year mother's day i said to my daughter all i want is another one of those sunflower candles from this company they're off exit 105 you or hector go get it that's all i want i don't want anything else but another one of these so my daughter called and she got me another sunflowers and her boyfriend hector went and picked it up and they got me a banana nut bread that i haven't tried yet but I have a backup and I'm loving, I love this company's candles. Um, then I did pink petal tea cake and I burned it for a while. I burned it for a while and then I put it in my crock. I don't know with this candle, guys. Um, I know Kent from the Candle Channel. He, he called this one of his favorite candles. So when it came... When it became available last year, I bought four of them. Like, if it's his favorite candle, oh, my God, it has to be so good. I got four of them, and I don't I don't love it. Like, I don't know. But I might return two of them because I really want Bath & Body Works, Sea Salt, and Neroli. So I'm thinking of returning two, keeping one more, and returning two for that. What is with my hair today? I'm a mess, guys. I am a mess. I've been on the go all day. I have the baby here, my granddaughter here. Okay. Um, another Bath & Body Works single wick, grapefruit and sage. And I would not repurchase this. It was citrusy. It was okay. I actually burned this the day that it was a, a citrus, a burnt, warm, a, a citrus wax melt day. So I pulled this and put it in the guest bathroom, burned it, and then I put it under my lamp in my office. This candle, I absolutely love. I have two backups of it. I got it last year. This is the second one now I have burned. 
and I love it. And I don't really say that about Homeworks, but this is one that I loved and it was sea salt and lavender. It still smells even though I cleaned it out. I clean, cause that's my favorite color, purple. And I am keeping this jar and it's going to probably go sit in my kitchen and I'll put like pens and stuff in here. I have one in there now, but it's old. It's been in there a while. I think it's his beach seagrass one I have now in there, but it kind of got like dusty and stuff. It's been a year, so I think I'm gonna replace it. But even cleaned out, I love it. And actually I cleaned it out and the bottom I got out because the um, the wick started moving and stuff, so I froze it. And today was lavender day, so I took some of this. It's lavender and marshmallow. Oh, does it even say on the bottom here? Um, it's Province Lavender Sea Salt Blue Sage and Seagrass. Sorry, that's the um, set notes on this. I'm not reading set notes to you guys. Pink Petal Tea Cake. Pink Rose Petals, Pound Cake, and Vanilla Glaze. Again, I just... It's all right. I have candles. I Bakery, I love a lot better and are stronger for me than that. I just don't get much throw. Okay. We're done now with candles. Now I'm going to go to randoms. Just randoms. Before Once I'll, I start my melting challenge days, I'm going to end it with that. So randoms, I did a Raspberry Whip White Elephant Exchange of L3s in the basement. Excellent. Oh, God. This might have been on my favorite day. It is. Um, we had a favorite day, and I didn't put it with that. I love to laugh. Lemon custard, Earl Grey tea, and buttery cakes. Yes. This was on our favorite day, and I, I had a few cubes left, like maybe three or four, because I have another whole band bag of it. So this was perfect to finish up on our favorite day, which I'll get to. Okay, then I did Sassy Girl Aroma because I had like a little, little few pieces, like eight pieces left of this. So one night I, I cleaned out everything because I couldn't smell it. And I threw this in and I wrote on here, it's about an eight for set and throw. I really don't like the scent though. It's absolutely not a repurchase for me. It is Pistachio Disneyland. It's pistachio, cotton candy, strawberry, pineapple, cream, sickle, lemonade, and whipped cream. And you know what? I don't know why. I smell fizzy. I, I'm like, why am I smelling like fizzy soda? That's what I was getting out of this. And I don't really, I'm not a big fizzy soda lover. And I went back and I read the set notes. Nothing says fizzy, so it must have been the lemonade and the pineapple. I don't know. But um, it was a good set, it was a good throw, and it was like an eight in strength, but I'm not, I didn't like the set that much to, I wouldn't, wouldn't repurchase that. Another one that I did of Sassy Girl Aroma was, and I wrote four hours, this was done. The set and throw was about a seven, I wish it lasted longer, was Julie and Julia sugar corn pudding, blackberry jam butter cookies, marshmallow sugar cookies. Uh, not a repurchase for me. Made to Melt. I love this one. It's her um, campfires at the beach. It was melt after January 16th, 22. So it was over a year old. And it's her campfires at the beach. And she has her own distinct um, campfire scent too. Everybody has their own distinct campfire. Like... Rose Girls is the creamy campfire one. Um, Sis from Made to Melt, hers is more of a little bit more of a smoky campfire. And I love them both. Then there's another campfire I've had. And I'm like, that one's even different. It might be in my, it might be in here. But yeah, I, I've had three. Bonfire Beach from Scentsy is more of a sweeter one, bonfire sweet. So they all have their own distinct scent, but I like all of them. I don't think there's a campfire that I haven't really liked. So 
this was really good. And if I placed an order with Made to Melt, which I will in the future again, because there are some I love of hers. I love her lemon. I love her peanut butter and jelly. When I do go to place an order with her, I would definitely um, get this one again. Then I really wanted to try this because I have the oil, the amazing race from Smell Good Shop. It's Palo Aged Woods and Campfire. And I really love this. So I did these, I, I had like a few pieces in here and then I had a smaller one. So I took the pieces I had left in here and this and I spread it one night through my family room area and my kitchen and it was so good. Definitely would repurchase this, loved it. Really, really good. Then I did one night in my room, I had three cubes left and I have three warmers and I really felt like a, a woodsy, beachy, apple-y, that's what I did, Mac Apple, Ocean, and Palo Santo. Like, I love this, I have more, I think I have Bam Bag, I have more clams, Mac Apple, Ocean, and Palo Santo, I love that one. I've gone through a few of those. All right, so now I'm gonna start with my melting challenge. So I must have left off with you guys on day 17, St. Patrick's Day, I believe I did. So I started with day 18. Day 18 was melt with anything with the word lucky, rainbow, or gold in it. So I did in my bedroom, Rainbows and Butterflies by Scentsy. Rainbow Melts, the, the vendor Rainbow Melts. I did cool beans that morning in my kitchen. It's iced coffee, whipped marshmallow, and caramel drizzle. And I would absolutely repurchase this again. Love it. Then I finished off the rest of the main areas with Super Tarts, Lucky Lemons O Fudge. And it is lemon custard, sweet and cereal, marshmallows, sugary milk, orange Danish, pie crust, and cinnamon. And I still have some left. So that was Lucky Lemons O Fudge. So that was my day 18, melt with word Lucky, Rainbow, or Gold in it. Okay. Then day 19 was Melt UK Mother's Day Floral. Great day to do floral because it was Celebrate UK Mother's Day. I think I put it on my Instagram. I think I did Kringle, which is still, I'm still working on Lilac in a vase candle and I took a picture and I even put it I think on my community page here oh here's onyx oh could have a could have a video without onyx come on onyx all right we'll come here okay day so that was day 19 so I had Kringle's lilacs burning in a candle in the kitchen it was a really good day because I'm not a floral person and I did a case sample of lilac buff B-O-U-G-H, I don't know if I'm saying it right. Bow, bow, I say buff, because it ends in G-H. But did this in the basement all day, loved it. I'm not floral, guys. In the bedrooms, I did lilacs and violets by Scentsy. And through the rest of the house, I did my L3 Ravenclaw that I love. It's blue sugar, sugared violets, Earl Grey tea and books. So I did this. I have Ravenclaw uh, from Carla. And I have it from, first one I ever got it from that I found this kind of blend was um, Pharmacist Daughter. But I don't think she has all those set notes in it, but I love all three. They all do it really good. And I am like um, Alexis. I'm not floral, but I love anything with violets. I love sugared violets. I feel like I'm becoming more floral lately. I'm like, am I getting old that I'm liking floral? Because I'm always one like, I like to smell flowers outside in my flowers that I plant, not in my house. But I think I'm coming around to floral a little bit. I don't want to though. Like there's a part of me, I'm like, I, yeah, I don't, I don't really want to like floral though. But I don't know, we'll see. I have been warming a few. This was excellent, would definitely... Let me put that there. That's going in my repurchase. Okay. Oh, 
Hi, Onyx. Okay, Onyx is with us, of course. If you watch my videos, you know she wants to be in all of them. Okay, D20 was Melt Spring. So, I write myself these notes. It said Melt Spring. So, I went on and I searched Rose Girl's Facebook page in their search engine what to mix with Olive Branch. Because I didn't want to do just Olive Branch. Come on. So the Olive Branch Lush Type. And I found a blend with that Jenny did. And she did it with Pink Sugar Salty Sea. Mine had cucumber in it. Okay. So Jenny did a blend. One of her blends she did was, was, was olive branch with pink sugar and salty sea. So I pulled cucumber and pink sugar of Jenny's. This was a really good day, guys. A really, really good day. And then I had, a, and I still have one little piece I'm holding on to there. Why? I don't know. Destination Wax Salty Sea Air. I have two more loaves of it because I love Destination Salty Sea Air. So I blended the olive branch, cucumber and pink sugar, and salty sea air all day, all night. I actually shut my warmers off that night after all day and night, got up in the morning, turned them back on, and then I didn't change them out till about like noon when, I, when it started to really lighten up that I couldn't smell it anymore to go on to the next day's melting challenge. But this was really, really, really good. Then in my guest bathroom, in my tea light, I did Mandarin Blossom by Bathing Garden. And I wrote, this was really beautiful. It was a medium in scent and throw, but I really, really, I have three hearts on it. It was really, really good. I really liked that a lot. Like, I wouldn't mind having more of that. I'm not ordering Bathing Garden right now because I, I have so much of it from last year. But, um, yeah. Okay, next, this was a great day too. I think this was our Melted Aquatic Day. Day 22, Aquatic. I did in my basement, Poolside Laundry by Southbounds. And this is pink, nope, fresh fruits, floral blossoms, warm air, and island fresh laundry. So I did that as an aquatic. I probably should have saved that for laundry day, but because we do have a laundry day, which is another story. Um, then I did, okay. Yes, yeah, Sonic, I love you too. I know, look, say hello, say hello, say hello. Then I did in my bedroom, Summer Rain, which was a, is a bring back my bar of Scentsies. And I still have two cubes left and I have another clam. And I will tell you this, when this was in the bring back my bar a year ago, I warmed it and I thought it was light. Cause I'm like, oh, I'm definitely gonna want that one in my club, summer rain right up my alley. But I found it light and I didn't put it in my club. Well, now that it's sat for this long, strong all day. I love it. I'm finding with a lot of my senses that the, long, they're, the ones I'm pulling out that I, I found light and I put back, they're now really built up strength. So this was a good one. If I saw this in clearance, I would probably buy like a six pack of it. Then in the guest bathroom that day, I did Made to Melts Waikiki Beach Coconut. It was um, like a scent shot. Very, very, very good. Really liked it. I have another one of this. Then I did in my room that night, and this was from September 18th, 21 of Destination, Coast of Sicily, and I have another one of these left. Lavender violets mingle with the salty ocean breeze of the Sicilian coast. So I got Coast of Sicily. Now I have another one left of this and I really enjoyed it a lot and I'm happy I have another one left, but I wouldn't order it again. There's just too many other scents that I love 
way more at night and, and that I like better. But I'm happy I have it. I'm happy I have more. You never know. I might warm the other one in a couple months from now and be like, oh, no, wait, I really love it. You know, like we change. So, and guys, I have, I cannot, I hope she offers this again. Super Tarts Typhoon. I love this so, so much. And it is ocean rain, peppermint, sea salt, fresh air, and seagrass, plum, and pear. This was a powerhouse all day and night. And it was like all day, I was just like, as I walked through my house all day long, I loved this so much. This and her rain, like I'm waiting. I know now that um, Brandy like really downsized because Brady got a job and she um, is now working out of her house or something. I don't know. I'm not on Facebook that much. I'm not really following that much. Um, so it's okay. I got a lot of wax right now and it'll be the right time when I see she offers it again. I'm sure she will. If ever I'm low on wax, whenever that day comes, I would request it and wait. Um, okay, next day. Day 23, Men melt a scent you love. So... In the bedrooms, I did my new vanilla faith. I so far to me to bring back my bar from our last bring back my bar in January. And so far with Scentsy, this is really the only vanilla I have loved besides frosted vanilla, our winter scent. But vanilla bean buttercream, I don't smell it. I don't. I've already gone through two bricks. I can't smell it. I've melted it on its own. I've done it in a mix. I will try it again, but... I don't smell it. This vanilla cream is vanilla and coconut, coconut milk or coconut cream. It's with coconut milk, vanilla and coconut milk. And I absolutely love it. It's in my club in my monthly and in my quarterly. And I got a bunch of backup bars when, um, in February when we did the sale. Then I did my, one of my favorites. It's L3's buttercream, wild berry mousse, zucchini bread, sugar cookie royale. So it was a whole loaf. Guys, I have three backup loaves of it. That's how much I love it. Because when I request it and the girls pour it, the two gens, um, I buy like two be basic Betty loaves because I feel like I requested it. So I, I'll buy two loaves of it. So this was one of my favorites. That was just a great day. I just love, like I'll never, ever not love that set. Love it. Okay, then day 24... And this was melt a cocktail. Guys, I got up. It was down, poor, freezing rain, which was like that almost all last week in New Jersey. Anybody watching that's in New Jersey, Jessica D, I just watched her candle, Bath and Body Works candle haul. She was saying it in New Jersey, we are. it's still winter here. I was not melting on a freezing ice cold. It was thunder and lightning. It was horrible. I was not doing a cocktail because I was ready for it. When I looked the night before what the next day was, it said cocktail. I'm like, mm, I gotta wake up in the morning and see if, if this is gonna work here. I feel like I look horrible today. I'm sorry, guys. I got I got a lot going on. Um, anyway, I pulled Rose Girls Cherry Lime Margarita. Didn't warm that. I'm like, no way, I'm saving this for August. And I pulled Lexi from Two Quick Wicks when we did the Salt Mountain Melts last year, the last summer, the pre-order. Um, she told me I had to try Heat Wave, and I told her, but I'm not a more. I don't really like margarita scents, even though I got that Rose Girls, but I got that like two years ago. That's it, and I got to get through that. So Heat Wave is strawberry, raspberry, guava, margarita. And I pulled it out just to show you guys that I did pull these two out too warm. But no, I needed to be sunny and 100 degrees out to do these. So I enjoy them. I wasn't going to warm something I don't enjoy. So I ended up still doing, I did Coven, okay? It has cola in it. So I'm like, okay, it has cola in it. So you mix rum and coke. And I did this to, to, 
substitute. And uh, Super Tarts Coven is cola. I can't even read this. Vanilla bean, cake batter, zucchini bread. So I did Coven. This is one of Alexis's favorite. And I have to tell you that um, I wasn't, I didn't get good throw. So I did not get good throw from this. I called Alexis. I'm like, don't like, and she said, yeah, I wrote Coven was light. I did the whole bag after four hours. I took it out and um, she gets great throw. It's one of her favorites, but it's not mine. Some things might work for me. That doesn't work for others. Then I did um, in the guest bathroom, Starlight Soda Pop. So I tried to, you know, fit in and still do something that had to do with something you drink. I just wasn't going to do liquor. I just wasn't, it wasn't that kind of day out. Okay. Then, okay, I switched day 25 and 26 because, again, it was freezing cold and raining. I even wrote here, I switched 25 and 26 weather related. <laughs> I wrote on my post-it. I don't even know what I write. I'm just, like, out there. I am out there. Right, Onyx? So, let's see what I did here because I switched the two days. So, okay, I'm just going to do what I did. So, 25 was laundry day. Freeze, I could not smell laundry. It was still raining and freezing out. 26 was risky. So, I switched them around. So, I, well, I don't know what I did here. Um, so, for risky day, I had boho from a bring back my bar. And this has been sitting in my half empty container for a year because I hated it. And I wrote, it's winter apples, black plum, candy mulberries, and cinnamon stick. So this was risky to me, but I finished it up. So that's a good thing about the melting challenge is I prob this probably would have sat for 10 years. I would have never warmed it again. Also, I wish I would have known that this was in my half empties root beer float because I hated it. I sent two full bars to uh, Melissa um, cause she loves it. And I had another half a bar in my half empties. I didn't realize it cause I would have thrown that in there too for you, Melissa, if you're watching, sorry. Then my laundry day, I did Amazon rain because Amazon rain is part of our, what's wrong with my lighting? I think the sun's going down outside. Amazon rain is melon, orange, zest, and coconut milk. It'll always be in my inventory here cause we all love it. My whole family. Um, so that was laundry. I might still pull laundry out. I mixed them in here because I mixed them in. Um, pink salt and water lily. Okay, then for risky, I did, it's the blend for me, bourbon soaked bananas, which I guess I could have done on the liquor cocktail day. And I did and brown sugar, waffle cone, ice cream, and whipped cream. The reason I did it is because I used to love bananas and I just don't anymore. So I'm like, well, that's risky for me to do bananas because, and I still have a few pieces left and I still have probably a lot of banana left. Even though I keep giving it to my daughter, it's like it's growing. She likes banana, but I feel like every time I think I gave her the rest of the banana, I keep finding more. I really loved banana when I first started melting wax. I loved a lot of things that I don't anymore. I loved cinnamon, and now I don't. Um, here's another one I did. Um, I'm mixing laundry and, and, and risky, because I I don't know why I rubber banded them together, because I switched the days. Cotton candy clothes on the line. I love this. I am not a laundry lover, laundry sense, but cotton candy clothes on the line. I will always repurchase. And here's another banana one. I did a pie, a L3 pie. Banana cream pie. Vanilla butter fudge, bakery bomb with crushed pretzel crust. This was light. Yeah, I was disappointed in that because it had the pretzel in it. It was light. As a matter of fact, I pulled out my Lori because I really wanted to smell pretzel after I was so disappointed in that. So I'm like, I need pretzel. So I pulled my Lori sweet pretzel twist. Um, it is just a salty pretzel scent and it is so good. Love Lauren's pretzel, but she's not around anymore. 
Then we had um, day, oh, I have day 21 here. I guess I missed day 21. Melt a winter scent. So I did Teddy Bees, the North, and the North is Vanilla, ba vanilla Balsam type, Palo Santo, Marshmallow Fireside, and a hint of Smoldering Firewood. Um, this was poured October 28th, 22. I had a tub of that. I finished it. It was good, but not a repurchase. It was light. Like I, I did it in my open concept. Maybe if I did it in my bedroom, I'd smell it better. So yeah, I did it in my open concept. I'm sure in a smaller room, it would be better. Okay. Day 27 was Glam It Up Glitter Day. So for Glam It Up Glitter Day, of course I pulled Bathing Garden. So I have a little note in here. And my little note, I did, love, we know everything with Bathing Garden has glitter and embedded with things, so I don't have to even say that. I did in the morning in my kitchen tea light love coffee. And let me tell you something, guys. This was eight hours strong. I wrote in the kitchen tea light with two hearts. And I saw on the Bathing Garden's website recently because i was looking up what my orders were so i know what to use like the oldest order so i know what to use get done first and i saw um she says that her wax worms best in tea lights so that's what i've been using it in is in a tea light in the kids uh bathroom um but i did this coffee in the kitchen tea light and it went for eight hours strong and i love this i would get more of that if i ever was then I did from um, Tiff Talks from her pink zebra. If you got Tiffany Hag, Tiff Talks Wax. She has a YouTube channel and she's on Facebook with pink zebra. She had sent me some samples and this was Manly Man, Musk, White Iris, and Moss Woods. And... Um, four hours strong it was very much like a man's cologne i did this it comes in like sprinkles and i did this in the five warmers in the game room and it was really really good it was really strong for like four hours okay then i did yeah tiff talks wax then i did um bathing garden red castle breakfast it's french toast Sweet red berries, tonka bean, condensed milk, sweet cream butter. Strong all day and night, I wrote. Not one I'd look to get more of, but it was really, really good. And to get bathing garden and it was strong. So this is what it looks like. And the tonka bean was really what you got was that tonka scent. So even though it says something about sweet cream or milk or it was Tonka dominant, I even wrote it on my note, Tonka dominant. Um, really, the Tonka is really strong in that. And um, it was good. It was good. I wouldn't look to repurchase it, but I got to get through this. I don't even want to stick it in my half empty container because I know I won't go back to it. I didn't love it, but I was very impressed that it was so strong because Bathing Garden for me is so light. Um, then I also did, again, I think this is, yeah, another, I had a loaf of Lourdes pretzel and Charity told me I better get using my Lourdes stuff up or I'm going to lose the scent. So again, sweet pretzel twist. It's caramel and softy sweet pretzel and it has the glitter, it has the glitter on it if you could see it. So I used some of that. Thank you, Charity. Um, then this was melt your favorite scent day, day 28. So I did bonfire beach in both bedrooms. I got through two clams. I used it in all the bedrooms and then I mixed another great day, a loaf of Mac apple caramel funnel cake of L3s. I love L3s Mac apple. I love it with her zucchini bread. I love it with everything. Now I'm trying to get her to pour for tomorrow, Fuji Apple with her sugar cookie royale. A couple of us are asking her. But anyway, so I did Mac Apple Caramel Funnel Cake. And I put a little spoon of um, scoopable 
scoopable tart wax, Kathy scoopables, her circus concession in with us. So I went around, I put a little spoon and I did this everywhere. I did this throughout every warmer except the bedrooms. And circus concession is cotton candy frosting, ooey gooey caramel, Macintosh madness, funnel cake. So I did these two for my favorite day. Circus concession, need more of that in the scoop. I have a little more left, but I need, I have to always have circus concession on, um, in my, in my, um, inventory because I love it. Day 30, which is today, is Melt Lavender, which I really needed today. I needed to smell some lavender. So in the bedrooms, in mine and Jack's bedroom, because Axel is here all day with a fever and sharp throat, so I did Boogie Be Gone in her three warmers in her room while she laid in there from L3, and it's, it's, uh, it's, it's like Vicks, but it's not as strong. It has that Vicks scent. But I had straight Vicks wax from, I think, Super Tarts, which is a lot stronger. But it was good for her. Like, I didn't want to blow her out of the room, but I wanted that in her. She had 103 fever and strep throat. Um, okay, so I did in the basement Sweet Lavender White Elephant Exchange. And I could tell you I went down there before I started this video to grab this to put it in here for today. And um, I can't smell it anymore. Most of my L3 samples I could smell, but this might be old. It's probably old. In the bedrooms, I did our Life's a Garden Lavender Violet that is in my um, club. And this is like a creamy marshmallow lavender. Sweet, like a sweeter lavender, creamy marshmallow. So good. So good. If you ever see that come back in a Bring Back My Bar, vote it in. In my kitchen, still going from 6 a.m., Rose Girls, Cool Beans, Peppermint, Lavender, and Vanilla Bean Noel. I want more of that whenever she, someday, I I have to go through a lot of my Rose Girls. I'm not looking at anyone's things right now anyway. Um, then I put in my family room, I had a little bit left of Sassy Girl Aromas, Good Night Lover, which is Blue Sugar, Sweet Lavender, Birthday Cotton Candy Frosting. So that's Good Night Lover. And I have it going in here right now. This is the second loaf of mine. The first loaf I went through, I requested her to do it again, like a couple months later, and she did. I got a second loaf, and I had a few pieces left in here, and I think I let it sit too long. It's definitely over a year old, and it's not as strong as I remember it to be, so that's that. And for tonight, because it's lavender night, I already shut Axel's warmers off with the Boogie Be Gone, and my warmers off in my room, and I'm going to put Salty Lavender of Teddy B's. I love this scent, guys. I've been working on this forever. Like, this was poured. What's her pour date on this? If she even, if I even have it on here anymore. It probably fell off. This is, this is so old. It's not that old. It's March 16th, 22. So, it's a year old. I feel like I got it even before that. Because I just work on this. I baby this. Ba I baby this. Like, I will only warm this while I'm in that room and, like, at night when I'm going to chill out. So, if if uh, Teddy B's ever offered salty lavender again, I would definitely get a tub of it. I really, really am hoarding this. Then, tomorrow um, is Melt an Animal Scent or what reminds you of an animal. So, I pulled from Bathing Garden from the Circus Collection... Uh, circus bread and I pulled this for tomorrow don't ask me to set notes it's a yeasty bread and I pulled super tarts I don't know what I'm gonna do for tomorrow I wake up in the morning and I decide um, so I pulled super tarts Palo Santo American werewolf and there's it's Palo Santo homemade I don't know what that says and vanilla bean. It's like really ridiculous how she, the set notes are. So I can't read it. I'll read it after I warm it. I'll have it in my next empties and let you guys know. I'll write down the notes when I have my reading glasses on. And I'll stick the note in here. So when I do my empties, I'll let you know the performance and what I thought. I've never warmed this yet. I got this when she did um, a while back her Apollo, Apollo collection 
like it was a, um, a pre-order of Palo Santo. So I never warmed it. So I'm like werewolf, animal, circus bread, animals. And then I have a piece of uh, Birdie's Make Sense. She did dog poop in grass. And I bought a couple of them. I might throw them in a bedroom. Throw that one. I have one piece left. I might throw that around tomorrow in one of the bedrooms. And um, so those are my empties, guys. If you stay till the end, 45 minutes. Thank you so much. Oh, breathe. All right, everybody. Have a great weekend. I have a homeworks haul that came in. I went on and I ordered Homeworks, even though I've sworn I've never ordered from them again because I can't smell most of their candles, but they had the uh, berry smoothie that I had last year on sale for $17. That was, okay, I am rating now vendor, all vendors, candle, this, that. I'm rating them on a scale of one to 100. So like Rose Girls, I would say is 90, 10 for me, 90%. Love, great performance, excellent, we'll always buy. Same with L3, same with many. Uh, homeworks for me is 30% of 100 of performance for me. The wicks fall in, I can't smell them. So I got two of the berry smoothies and then two other ones that sounded enticing. And then I went on YouTube, one is a, a lemon cupcake one and I, Somebody I watched do a video. Was it Jessica or? Oh my God, I can't remember now. But she loved it so much she was going back in and buying four more. I'm like, okay, let me grab two. Then another one, uh, Berry one. Uh, Melanie, Mr. Kong's mom, wrote amazing in capital letters in her review. I'm like, okay, so I got those three, two each because every, they were on big sale. Free shipping, 17 bucks each. So I'm, I will do that haul. I got Black Magic Melt, very small, I got one thing. I'm gonna do them all at once in one video this weekend. And um, VCS, I got two blossoms from. So I'll get to that this weekend. I'm gonna do a couple cooking videos. I just cooked some cro a crock pot recipe. I'm gonna video that now, it's done. And I'm gonna make stuffed zucchini boats tomorrow that my kids love, I'm gonna make for them this weekend. So. Look forward to stuffed zucchini and um, stuffed zucchini and what I have in the crock pot right now. So I'm gonna put two recipes out. And that's it guys, I love you guys. Thank you so, so much for all the support. I love, really do, thank you so much. I'm here cause I love you guys and this is why I'm here, so. Okay, have a great weekend. I'll, I'm sure I'll be back cause I, I have all this stuff sitting in boxes in my dining room to put away. So, all right, I'll talk to you guys. Let me know what you're warming. Are you following Patricia's Melting Challenge? Oh, she's doing another one for April. It's on my community page. I'm not sure because I'm very, if you start something, you gotta finish it. So I was very, very, the whole 31 days, except the two that I switched the days because of the weather. Like, I have to do it because I started it. So now I'm not sure. I think I might just do certain days, but I'm not gonna commit to it like I did for March. So, um, I'm not sure yet. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I just don't want to make a commitment. I'm going to look each day's prompt. Again, we have winter here in New Jersey. There's too many days that are like summer days for people. In New Jersey, it's winter still. So, everything depends on the prompt for the day. Um, yeah. So, all right. Love you guys. Bye.